fresh white shoes are great. Literally, you can't beat them. But over time, they start to look a bit gray and grubby like this. So in this video, I'm gonna show you two ways how to get your white shoes back to their best. So these are Hank's shoes, and for some reason, he decided to use them all the way through the winter, and now they look like this, all gross and pretty disgusting. So we've got two shoes, the left one, the right one, and two methods of cleaning. For the left shoe, I'm gonna use the kind of cleaners that you could find around the house. So this is just a normal washing up liquid. We're gonna give that a go on the left shoe. And on the right, I'm using this, a dedicated shoe cleaning kit. This one is from Muck Off, one of our channel partners, but there's lots of different options out there. Two methods, two shoes, let's get to work and clean these shoes. Okay, so I've got my bucket of warm water, I've got my soap sat here, left shoe, I've got a cloth and a brush. Don't worry, it's not my normal toothbrush. That'd be pretty grim doing that. What I'm gonna do, put the cleaner into the bucket of warm water, soak the shoe, gonna allow it to have five minutes of soak time. Then I'm gonna go to town for three minutes, scrubbing away at that thing, getting as clean as I can. I'm gonna drain it out, repeat the process, but use the cleaning kit for the right hand shoe. Let's do it. While the timer's going, there's only one thing for it. Watch some live racing. GCM Plus. Oh, right, timer up. Oh. Oh, let's get a, let's get a shoe out. Get scrubbing. Look at that. God, Hank did a good job with these, didn't he? Right, that's our three minutes of scrubbing time up. I think they look a little bit cleaner. It's hard to tell. So next up, we need to get some fresh water in our little makeshift bucket and go and run this shoe under the tap with some clean water to get all the soap off of it. And then I'm gonna leave it in the sink to get all the excess water draining out. Because it's important to let your shoes dry after you've cleaned them. Right, let's go do that. <laughs> Hank's got little feet, little diddy ones. <laughs> yeah, so cleaning a shoe like this was only gonna cost probably in the region of about five pounds, euros or dollars. So it's pretty good value for money. Right hand shoe next with our ultimate shoe cleaning kit. Let's get this thing open and see what we got in here. Three, ah, there we go. Now one such as this is more along the lines of the most fancy pants way of cleaning your shoes. But the advantage of having a kit like this is that you've got everything you could possibly need in one go. So something like this is gonna cost you in the region of around 30 pounds. However, you can just buy the shoe cleaning liquid um, by itself. It's gonna cost you about 10 pounds. So in our kit, we've got the shoe cleaner, which is water-based, biodegradable, environmentally friendly. We've got a foam fresh spray. So this is ideal for the sort of soft linings, maybe the inside of your shoe. Not only is it gonna help clean it, it's gonna help them smelling fresh. We've got a brush to agitate all the products in, help lift the dirt off. Cloth for cleaning everything up afterwards. And then once we have got everything clean, this is our footwear shield, which is acts as a sort of coating to help protect the shoes once you've got them clean. And it will also help add an element of water repellency to shoes. Pretty neat, hey? Now I was gonna just pour some of this cleaner into our bucket of water, sink the shoe in, do exactly the same process. However, the directions for use on the back of this bottle say spray it directly onto the shoe rather than in some water and then allow it to soak for the few minutes. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. We're gonna douse the shoe, leave it to soak for five minutes as we do the other shoe and then go to town with our brush scrub-a-dub-dub. -dub. Let's do it. Look at that! Woo. It's like shaving foam. So this is our cleaning brush. Who knew I was at a stage in life where I'd appreciate a nicely made brush? We've got a wooden handle, good stiff bristles, and on the back of the packaging, it says with the new Muck Off Premium Shoe Brush, it's easy to get your shoes looking fresh AF. I'm assuming AF means absolutely fabulous. Hmm. Right. Hi. 
so much foam. I love foam. So that's our cleaning time up on this shoe. Next stage, wash this one out, exactly what we did. This is all clean water, then we'll rinse it out in the sink, drain the shoes out and compare our results. So that's both shoes cleaned using the same kind of process, the same times. So what we need to do now is I've drained most of the excess water out of the shoes by leaving them in the sink. Now I haven't got time to let it all drain out, so what I'm gonna do is take our clean microfiber cloth, give both shoes a little wipe over to help get any of the loose bits of dirt that are remaining, but I think I've got most of that off. Dries them off as best I can. Whoa, stay there, steady. And then what you should do is leave your shoes somewhere warm and dry overnight, maybe in an airing cupboard or something like that. But what have we got here? Well, we've got two clean shoes, and from what I can see, they both look to be of a comparable level of whiteness. The shoe on the left has still got the stain on the front. I don't have a clue what on earth Hank has got on his shoes, but that hasn't got it off. But I think it's fair to say both methods have worked on a comparable level. However, what about the sniff test? Well, right hand shoe. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, not bad. So the right hand shoe does smell fresher, but it can come as no surprise really, seeing as we have used like some additional products to help us achieve that result. But that is the advantage of using a dedicated kit such as this. But I really think the trick for achieving a good result is just to use a suitable cleaner, the time to soak the shoe and really take your time scrubbing away at all of those little bits and repeating the process a couple of times over. But the advantage of using a dedicated kit like this is that you've got all of the additional products and everything you need in one handy little bundle. And we haven't even gotten to using the footwear shield, which will offer an additional level of protection for the shoes. So we'll save that for another video. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and it's given you a few different ways of trying to clean your shoes and get them back to looking their best. If you have any other tips of your own to clean some shoes, let everybody know in the comments section down below. And you know what to do if you want to see more maintenance videos like this, click on subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure you never miss out on another upload. See you later.